Good morning, Dr. Thompson. Good morning, Miss. What can I help you with? Actually, I'm not here to ask for any medical help. I'm here to talk with you about the past, Doctor. Why? I don't think we share any past experiences. We'll see. Can you recognize this girl on this photo? Well, she's a girl about 13. I think, I think she takes after you. This girl? I don't think I remember her. You met her when you were the assistant of Dr. Thompson. She looks familiar to me, but I can't remember where I saw her. Maybe you can give me a clue, miss. Of course, Dr. Milton. You saw her when watching a surgery. Was that surgery an uh, ice pick lobotomy? Exactly. Oh, uh, how's she doing now? Just like any other ice pick receiver, I suppose. No, I don't remember a girl. She received an ice pick lobotomy surgery. Ice pick lobotomy? Do you mean the surgery that the doctor put a long nail into the patient's arm? Yes, the long nail is called orbital crust. It is knocked into the head with a hammer, and it reaches the brain through the aperture between the upper eyelid and the eyeball. So, you want me to recall what I've met this girl before? Yes, please, Mrs. March. Okay. Was she Dr. Thomas's patient? I was one of his nurses some years ago. Yes, you're right. But I can't remember why she came to Dr. Thomas after all. Her parents thought she had history. Of course I remember her. You do, Mrs. Virgil. I resigned just after assisting Dr. Thompson in that surgery. Why? I couldn't bear them anymore. The surgery was clearly ruthless, but everyone pretended to be unaware of it. But there were so many patients claiming that, claiming that they need ice pick lobotomy. You know, doctors could not examine everyone carefully. That was an excuse. Okay, if you say so. Ice pick receiver? You conducted the surgery. Dr. Thompson? Still cannot remember her, unless her surgery was the one that was disturbed. Now you're almost there, Doctor. I think I could have stopped all that. How, Dr. Binch? The surgery of that girl was in 1969, right? Yes. By that time, the Soviet Union has forbidden ice pick. It had been proved that ice pick was destructive. And uh, I knew it well, but I didn't see anything. One of my colleagues resigned after that surgery. Mrs. Virgil? She was a really nice girl. Considered surgery to be too cruel to the patient. And she was right. She looked odd that day. It was irresponsible of her parents to bring her to a psychiatrist. They should know that he would give her ice pick. Perhaps they didn't know. Perhaps they helped him to give their daughter the right treatment. Speaking of ice picks, I began to remember a friend. Who? Mm -hmm. Dr. Milton. He was one of the three doctors back then, although he has become a former one. And at that time? Oh, he was nothing but just a simple street doctor. Nevertheless, I believe in him and lent him money to build a clinic. I feel really sorry for her. It was very cruel. I suggest him to watch a real doctor on his surgery so he could um, learn it and make money to pay him back. And so he went. But he. I stopped that surgery. At first, a nurse held the doctor's arm and she said something like, Don't you know you are destroying the girl's life? I and I walked to the bed, drove the doctor away, and put the orbital class out of the girl's eye. The assistant and other nurses didn't stop us. Maybe they also wanted this to happen. But why did you take action, Dr. Milton? Uh, I can tell. Um, I thought if I didn't do anything, I was also destroying the girl's life, and uh, it didn't cost me much. Although Mr. Marco, my friend and patron, uh, he was uh, somewhat vexed, but uh, he, he was very nice actually, and he supported me until I got a real certificate. 
so it's a good thing for you. I'm really glad you know that. The surgery was stopped? Oh yes, I remember. A good thing to remember, Dr. Binch. Of course, it means that girl was not mentally killed. She might have kept her own personalities. But who are you? Why are you asking questions all about this girl and the surgery? I just want to know about all this stuff. But I think you know everything before you ask. No, I don't know anything. Let me see. You look so similar to the girl in the photo. But you are not her. She's calm, quiet, and good-mannered. But you, I can't say. You are the girl's sibling, I guess. No, you must be her cousin then. Still not? Well, some sort of her relatives. Her parents told me she's the only child. So, you must be the girl herself. Yes, her personality was still affected. That means you are... Uh, huh? You must be her. But why don't you admit at first? Because I'm no longer myself. Can't you see it? Stop, please. Why do you keep punishing yourself? Oh, shut up.